The great train robbery of over three million pounds continues to baffle the British police. Good evening. However, we have here with us in the studio this evening the deputy head of New Scotland Yard, Sir Arthur Gappy. Good evening. And I'm going to ask him just a few questions about the train robbery. Good evening. Good evening, Sir Arthur. Good evening. Uh, I'm going to ask you just a few questions about the train robbery, if I may. Good evening. Well, I'd like to make one thing quite clear at the outset. When you speak of a train robbery, this, in fact, involved no loss of train. <laughs> It was merely the contents of the train which were pilfered. We haven't lost a train since 1943, I think it was, the year of the great snows. We mislaid a small one. They're very hard to lose, you see. Trains are great, bulky, great things, as opposed, for example, to small jewels. A tiny pearl, for example, might nestle in the navel of a lady and disappear for years, whereas a train with its huge size and the steam pouring out is altogether a different... Kettle of fish, it's uh... I think you've made that point rather well, Sir Arthur. Thank you very um, much. Who do you think may have perpetrated this awful crime? We believe this to be the work of thieves. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you why. The whole pattern is extremely reminiscent of past robberies where we have found thieves to be involved. The telltale loss of property, the snatching away of the money substances, it all points to thieves. Thieves. So you feel that... Thieves are responsible. Good heavens, no. I feel that thieves are totally irresponsible. <laughs> Ghastly people who go around snatching your money. I appreciate that. Sir. You may appreciate that, but most people don't. If you like having your money snatched, good luck to you. It must be rather a queer fish in my view. You misunderstand me, I sir, certainly do. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> who do you think is behind the criminals? We are considerably many. <laughs> Many days, indeed months and years behind them. <laughs> who do you think is the, the organising genius behind the crime? Well, now, of course, you're asking me who the organising genius behind the crime is. You're a man of very cool perception, sir. Thank right? you very much. Well, uh, we believe it to be the work of a mindermast, let me put it that way. A mindermast? A mindermast, my words exactly, a mindermast. <laughs> What exactly is a mindermast? A mindermast is the code word we use at Scotland Yard to describe a mastermind. <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, we don't like to use the word mastermind as that depresses the men. Uh, <laughs> oafish lot of louts, if ever I saw any, ghastly. Great jobs. I see. <laughs> but we are, however, using the wonderful detection equipment known as the identity kit. Are you familiar with the identity kit? Oh, isn't it where you, you piece together the face of the criminal, is it right? Not entirely, no. We're only able to piece together the appearance of the face of the criminal. We can't <laughs> actually piece the face itself together. I wish we could, of course, because once you've captured the criminal face, the other criminal parts aren't hard to find. The... <laughs> The criminal body is situated directly below the criminal face. Joined, of course, by the ghastly, scrawny and altogether obnoxious criminal neck. But through this wonderful system of the identity kit, or lead anti key, as the French foppishly call it, God help them, we have, uh, we have pieced together an extremely good likeness of the Archbishop of Canterbury. <laughs> So His Grace is your number one suspect? Well, let me put it this way. His Grace is the man we're currently beating the living daylights out of down to the yard. And he's still your number one suspect? No, I'm happy to say that the Archbishop, God bless him, no longer resembles the picture we built up. <laughs> Change. I think for the worst, poor devil. I believe I'm right in saying, Sir Arthur, that some of the stolen money has been recovered. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. What's happening to that? We're spending that as quickly as we can. <laughs> it's a short life, but a merry one down at the yard. Good night and God bless you all. <laughs>